a fake airless basketball, a backboard that breaks on impact, and a basketball that LeBron James hated. These are one-star basketball products. Starting with the cube. Now, LeBron James saw a video of this on Twitter and quote tweeted, man, please stop it. That's bad karma for the game of pure basketball. I'm sending the cops to apprehend the frauds now. So that is a one-star review. Yeah, so it says here, learning how to hold the cube correctly will teach players how to hold the basketball correctly. That doesn't make any sense to me. So it's like a bunch of styrofoam and then they have the basketball leather panels. I will say they got their logo on it, but it's like already peeling, like. <laughs> it's it's really just a sticker? <laughs> That's a little disappointing. My jump shot has been feeling pretty weak, so let's test this bad boy out. I'm gonna take some free throws before practicing with the cube. So we have something to look back on. Zach went three for five, I went two for five. The cube might help us. So I guess if I shoot with this, I'll no longer shoot left and right. Okay. I mean, it's working so far. This is cursed. I don't know. In a different dimension, this was basketball. Yeah, you can't dribble it, that's for sure. Cube. This just feels wrong. Imagine you ask for an Evo for Christmas. And you get that? And you get a cube instead. <laughs> Yeah, it's already like dented and like wrinkled. Okay, so the cube is taking some abuse. Oh, oh, oh no. It's already falling apart. Look at that, bruh. Build quality is an L. That's honestly embarrassing. It's, I don't, I just feel bad like criticizing it cause you know like this dude was like, babe, <laughs> I got us. I got a fire idea. I've come out with a crazy invention. It's gonna take over the world. It's gonna change the game of basketball. And then LeBron just on it yeah, on Twitter. That's so unfortunate. Dumb. Like if LeBron on a bucket squad shorts or something like that, I'd probably close the company. Hey, let's see if LeBron was wrong and my form gets better. Okay. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Maybe LeBron never shot with the cube. Yeah. Mm. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, LeBron. <laughs> okay. Oh, more. Improvement. I improved. Uh-oh. Right. Ah. So you got worse I after got worse. shooting with yeah. the cube. <laughs> I think that's what LeBron was talking about. I'm a basketball purist. This just isn't for me. I forgot to mention this costs $79. Let's give it a review. <laughs> I'm saying one star. Like half a star, dude. That's so bad. Next products. <laughs> This is the Skills Kickout Basketball Return Attachment. It goes for $60. It's so when you make a shot, the ball comes back to you. Let's read some reviews. One star, fragile, breaks easily. It's really just plastic junk. The lower shoe tads broke off almost immediately. The shoe would constantly turn so that you could not keep the ball coming back in the direction you want. Richie Dow, one star said, don't buy if you make shots. The clips keep coming off the rim. I would consider redesigning the system with better clips. Yeah. So the main complaints are the durability and the clips. We make a lot of shots, so apparently it might break it. Let's see if the reviews are capping. It's up and now, so let's say you're shooting free throws, you'll have it kind of centered. But if I wanted to shoot corner shots, you can actually turn it, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see if it works. Okay, hey, it came right back to me. I mean, it's coming right back. Let's try moving into the corner. It's a little hard to move without the ladder. Oh no. No, one of the clips fell. Oh. We're turning it. So you gotta keep the ladder on standby. Okay. Wait for it. When you consider the really nice rebounders are thousands of dollars, the one that actually shoot the ball back, it's not too bad. Oh, it's a oh, got a clip. Oh, I snapped one off. But it didn't even break. Oh! No! Oh. If your friend is a brick, we all know that friend. <laughs> Don't let them shoot on this thing. My honest review, I would give it a four out of five stars for its purpose. It was doing what it was meant to be doing, but Just, it may break. I'd give it a three. It was coming back to you, but it's very slow. This is Wilson's $2,500 Airless Gen 1 basketball, and this is a $130 knockoff version. Now, it didn't have any reviews, so I thought it would be fun if we gave this one a review. I will say the website said do not dribble it. It was a little concerning for a basketball, but it did not say do not shoot it. This one's like a rubbery plastic, if that makes sense. And this is more like a plastic glass. Yeah, the thing I don't like about the airless ball, shooting deep shots, the air affects it differently than a regular basketball because it goes through the holes. I swear I got like a little cut from that. It cut you? Yeah. Oh my God. The surface of it's kind of rough. It gave me a little like paper cut. 
Hey. Let's go. Now do you want to take a shot with the knockoff airless ball? This might be the only shot. Here we go. Ooh, <laughs> that was nice. Okay. Damn. All right. <laughs> Oh, it didn't break. Can you dribble it? Bro, you can really kind of dribble this thing. <laughs> All right, never mind. We just lost a chunk. I will say it's very rough, the 3D printing, so low key, you're gonna get some paper cuts. I just wanna see it like explode, I'm not gonna lie. From half. <laughs> Thinking it's time to give our review. I'm gonna say broke after a couple shots, two stars. I'm gonna give it a one star. That's this is fun. deserving of a one star. <laughs> For $130, one star. This is the Super Slam and Dunk products. Now the reviews for this are crazy. Jennifer Vargas says one star, the worst. This is a death trap. My three-year-old tried it and fell out of the netting and my seven-year-old niece fell out as well. It's not safe, don't buy, very disappointing. Sounds like you got some clumsy kids, Jennifer. First and foremost, it did come with every part it was supposed to come with. Obviously it's meant for three to eight-year-olds, but we're gonna test this bad boy out. <laughs> so it has a yoga ball right here, as like a little trampoline launching pad. It's a little sketch. I would be hyped to play on this thing. Comes with a little basketball too. Yeah. Oh, we fell All out right. of the net. I did fall out of the netting. That was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my God. This thing is a death trap. It gets destroyed on the dunks. <laughs> oh Honest reviews. It's not something that's gonna last a whole children's birthday party, but it could be fun for a little bit for a few kids. I'll give it a three star out of five. I'm gonna give it a four star. I really like that it has a launch pad, but low key giving me a little bit death trap vibes. Go to the next product. <laughs> These are the padded blocking guards. Melissa Rodriguez said this. Breaks really easy. I use them for one session and they broke after an hour into my lesson. Now there was a handful of reviews that said they broke easily. So we're gonna try to use these for 10 minutes and see if they break. You can use these for a bunch of different sports. For basketball, finishing drills, you use these bad boys. Victor Webinyama simulator. Nice. I'm scared. <laughs> Damn, bro, let me tie my shoe. Why are you tying me while I shoe tie my training. shoe? You gotta get better, man. What are we training you for? You gotta get better. Is it getting flimsy? It's actually holding up pretty well. <laughs> well, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> I still wouldn't like it to break from that personally, so I'm gonna give it a two star. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a two star. I feel like the plastic in the middle could be a little bit thicker, so it wouldn't break from that. Next product. This is the Skills Reactive Catch. It is to improve hand-eye coordination. Now, Kerry Higgins said one star return. It's impossible to catch the color you're supposed to. Yeah, I think Kerry just can't catch. Now, this is good for basketball because improving your hand-eye coordination is good. It's a little fun game. You throw it to a partner, you yell out a color. You're supposed to catch it with that color. But is it impossible? Blue. Okay. Green. Bro, <laughs> that's a trick question. <laughs> Red. Hey. Blue. Dude, this thing's actually a lot of fun. It's very stimulating. What I like about this product is you can up the level of difficulty by the amount of spin. Red. Damn! I'm a big fan of this product. I'm gonna give it a five. I actually enjoy it. I think it's really fun, it's dope, and you're improving hand-eye coordination. I would give it a four. It's a good product. I feel like, it, especially for like a kid or something like that, it could help with their hand-eye coordination. And Blue. Plot twist. They're all blue. This round is basketball bag. Cheryl said, one star, deceptive advertising. Flimsy, thin, low quality, a practically fraudulent item. Not even worth one dollar. Not gonna lie, they might be onto something because this zipper's already broke. It's already broke? It's already split. Off rip. The inside's already marked up. Damn, has this been returned? There's Look, already marks already... inside. Bro. Somebody use this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see if it would fit our basketball stuff. It fits. Okay. You know what would be nice if, if the bag had a shoe pocket? You might yeah. put fresh clothes in there, but you also gotta put your shoes in there. It's gonna get dirty. You need to have a shoe pocket for a basketball bag. That's essential. What about like drip check though? Like, do you think I look pretty stylish? Nah, that's like minus 20, bro. Minus 20 aura. Off rip. Disappointed! 
I say we compare this to a five-star basketball bag. Bro, what is all this? Zach, this is the new Bucket Squad X State Bags collaboration drop. State Bags make some of the most high-quality bags in the world, so it made so much sense to partner with them to make the Bucket Squad bags. You're holding the gym duffel right now. That is Bro. perfect for basketball. Now, this is a basketball bag. Bro, the quality is actually insane. That it does have a shoe pocket, of course. And it's separated from the rest of the bag. Don't get your dirty shoes on the rest of your stuff. We use some of our most popular designs. We got the Cherry Blossom. Now they're great for school, back to school, everything. They're really spacious. They're oversized bags, but also for my hoopers, it has the shoe pocket. Could not forget on the bottom. No way. So you put your shoes Vince? in there. Vents, 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 Vents. Got a lunchbox too. Coolest lunchbox ever. We also have the ball bag add-on to hold your basketball. We got a basketball inside here and you can literally connect it to your bag. Look at that, man. Finished school, get home, got basketball practice. I'm adding the ball bag edition. I'm ready for whatever. School, hooping, whatever we need to do. This is my favorite of the bags. Look how spacious it is. You could fit like 5,000 textbooks in here. Obviously, we got zippers inside of it, multiple layers. The quality is absolutely insane. Hey, you have a son. You copping for back to school? I think I'm gonna have to. <laughs> now, these bags are a limited supply, so once they sell out, they will be gone. And in honor of the bags, we had to bring back some of you guys' favorite drops that have been sold out for a long time. So we brought back the Weatherman. We got a new pair of shorts for the Cherry Ice Drop. Got the Cherry Blossom. It's got the title. Shirt. New shirt as well to go this with it. This is fire. And another really cool thing for every bag that's purchased, State is gonna be donating a backpack to a child in need. You can also get them on their website. So if you wanna cop, go to buggersquad.com or the link in the description. Trust me, they are the most high quality bags. State is amazing. You can look up their reviews. The people will tell you. Big shout out to State. It's an honor to collaborate with them for the bags. Now, let's go to the next product. This is a silent basketball. They have been going absolutely viral in the basketball community world. So we got two different ones. I'm gonna read the review for this one first. Ashley is Mario says, trash, one star. This ball is just cheap foam. It doesn't bounce, but yay to it being quiet as it went in the trash. <laughs> Damn. Now we're gonna read the reviews for the second silent basketball. Megan says, terrible product. It doesn't even bounce because it's shaped like an egg. If I could give zero stars, I would. Damn, that's brutal. And they added pictures and they look awful. This one did not come squished up like that. This one actually has a good shape. The lines look decent. <laughs> what is that? That is something. We are seeing the most cursed basketballs ever today. It smells like permanent marker. It does. Somebody drew those on. The ball also had a video in it. So let's watch the video. That was insane. That was also fake. <laughs> Bro dropped the silent ball from the roof and it came back. I feel like we have to test that. Let's see if the video was a lie. It was a lie. Even worse. Disappointed! We're gonna test the decibels of how loud the silent basketball is. This is a regular basketball. It's peaking at like 74, I think was the peak on that one. 74? 74 decibels. To the silent basketball. 40. Wow. Which is like less than talking. 30 decibels less than the actual basketball. Now this ball, the first one, I have no problems with it. This thing is kind of nice to dribble. I'm not even gonna lie. Definitely not as bouncy as a regular basketball. But I feel like that makes you work even harder. Yeah, I am a fan of this one, but the other one is horrific. They bounce honestly pretty similarly, but it is egg shaped. So it's just going wherever. What I also like about these balls, you can dribble them on different surfaces. So this could be like carpet or turf. You could still get your handles on and it's even quieter on carpet. This one, I'm gonna give three stars. I wish it was a little bit bouncier, but I think I would leave a one star for that. That's how bad it is. And I think I agree, three stars on that. This is one star. Next product. This is the ball by yourself, the Jolly Strap. It connects to your basketball, so you can't lose the ball. Now there is one review from Big Balls, one star, dog water. Bought it for myself. First time I threw the ball, the string broke. It's bull crap, don't buy. I feel like the three kids on the front, it's giving me ball brother vibes. They don't look like they wanna be there. Forced to promote the family product. <laughs> I don't blame them. My child will be promoting Bucket Squad too. Now there is a link to a promo video on the back, so let's check it out. Okay, so you can do some shooting drills, which I don't really understand doing shooting drills with that, because <laughs> I don't see how that helps your shooting ability if it just comes right back just to you. Just throwing the ball in the air. <laughs> They're doing a passing drill. The passing drill makes kind of sense. They're doing some rebounding drills with it and some dribbling drills. I'm really curious if this is gonna break right when you throw it. Locked in. How is it dribbling with the strap? Doesn't seem to affect it too much, but 
It didn't break on didn't your break. first throw. The string is just in the way, I feel like. Can't even shoot right. <laughs> yeah, like, what is the point? Hey! Seems to be pretty sturdy. Lose the ball. Psych! Oh yeah. Okay, you shouldn't do between the leg dribbles. You learn as you go. Especially like in the video, the first thing they're doing is shooting jump shots. Like, what isn't the guy with the camera just put down the camera and rebound for the kids? Yeah, their dad did not like rebounding, so he literally invented this. Okay, this is a problem. It didn't break like Big Ball said, but overall, I don't really see the point of it myself. I feel like it's not good for shooting practice. Or any practice. I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna give it a one, because there's literally no point. Next product. This is a toddler's basketball hoop. This is what it looks like on the packaging. And this is the actual product. <laughs> This feels like I've just been lied to. This is horrible. Uh, it is not the same size at all. This kid awesome. is at least maybe 10 years old. There's no way. Now, KG left a one-star review. Total junk. So disappointing, complete and total trash. Do not buy. Wow. I can see why, just based off looking at it. Also, it says NBA, new boom action. That's why. And the basketball looks completely different than the one in the picture. And it also looks like it's been drawn on the lines. It randomly gets thick in some parts. This is so bad. Bad. The rim's not even like level. <laughs> it's like deformed. All right, so you have a toddler. Or do you think it could survive his wrath? Not even close. He'd probably go like this. <laughs> I think this might be the worst basketball hoop I've ever seen. Can the ball even fit in the hoop? We're gonna have to find out. I, oh my God. We're both giving it a one star. This is the Spalding Street basketball. It is the most rubbery basketball I've ever felt. Listen to the noise. Oh no. Guinea Howard says, one star review, popped the first time used. It hit the edge of some concrete outside and popped. Now I've never heard of a basketball popping. Besides like overinflating it and throwing it at a wall. Like just popping on its own is crazy. Let's see if it's true. It is just like a regular outdoor ball. I'm kind of shocked it popped for the guy. This is definitely the basketball you would find at your school. <laughs> I hate when my basketball gets stuck in a tree. It's already got some like damage. It definitely doesn't look the same as it did a minute ago. Let's pretend like someone bricks it really hard on the backboard. Whoa. Hey, yeah, maybe that parent put a ton of air in the ball and then it popped. So see what happens if we do that. I'm very scared right now. I don't know how this person's ball popped. Run! I've exploded a lot of basketballs, and they usually explode by now. This one refuses to pop. This ball is indestructible. Oh! oh my god, I felt that. So it does in fact pop. That was probably the loudest basketball explosion ever, I think because of the rubber. The dad would have been a lot more mad if it popped like this. <laughs> yeah. This is what it looks like. Let's go to the next one. This is a gender reveal basketball. The reviews for this are insane. Teresa says one star, waste of money, ruined the gender reveal. The dust fell on the ground way before the expected parents could get ready. The mom ran off crying. I was so embarrassed for them. I am disappointed to say the least. I could have made something better myself. The mom wow. ran off crying. That is horrible. Courtney says one star, total letdown. When I opened the box, it had unsnapped and was completely open. So one, it ruined the surprise. Two, Ruined our plans for the reveal, returning, but wish I didn't have to take it to UPS. Would you want the return fairies to come and get it? <laughs> oh, hey. It came apart. <laughs> I will say I just picked it up and the gender reveal was just actually ruined for me. I actually didn't know what was inside it. I didn't even know. So I'm already disappointed. So let's test this bad boy out. Who's gonna have a kid next? I'm not having another one, so it's gotta be you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alley you. Bro. Thank you. It's a boy, which we already knew because it was spoiled earlier in the box. <laughs> I bought the worst reviewed basketball hoop I could possibly find. Kimberly says one star broke after two uses. The backboard shattered. I bought it for grandsons and when it broke, it was too late to return. They are small children and it's still shattered. A backboard that shatters? That sounds awful. Let's see how strong that small child really was. You can already tell it's pretty cheap because you can literally see the glue. Now, I'm surprised it shattered. It's like a plastic. Also, the rim has literally zero give. Let's see if it shatters off a shot. Jesser. 
Oh, you know, that wasn't bad. All right, I have a challenge for you. I want to see if you can somehow shatter this backboard. Zach, small children shattered this thing. It's tougher than what I thought. I feel like we have to give respect to the backboard. Yeah, they were definitely throwing rocks at it and then told grandma that they were just playing basketball. <laughs> I have Thor's hammer. There we go. It did shatter. <laughs> With a 35 pound hammer. These kids are freaks. Yeah, next product. This is the Ceiling Swish Indoor Basketball Hoop. You put it on the ceiling just like this. Happy Bomb says one star, don't buy. It keeps falling onto my son's head at night. Don't waste your money. Good idea though. She doesn't sound like a very happy mom. Yeah, she does not sound happy. Jess says one star, doesn't work at all. I spent way too much time trying to get the part to even stick on the ceiling. Then when it didn't fall from the ceiling on us, falls don't even stay in the hoop. They just fall right on your face. Good concept, horrible design. Let's test it out. It's on the ceiling. It was pretty easy to put on and it's pretty stuck up there. Like I'm pulling on it right now. It's definitely not falling. Okay, miss, make, Miss, it's definitely an interesting concept. Ooh, the review is complaining that when you make it, the ball just falls on your face. Like, can you not catch the ball? It, that it, was perfect. Yeah, it definitely is good. kind of fun. I wish it had a little bit better of a net. Oh, let's go. Oh, you ah! missed! I win! Honestly, this thing is a ton of fun. Yeah, this is not a one-star product. The question is, can you dunk on it? Bucket. Okay, now it looks like something else. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. I'm gonna give it a three out of five, because it is decently fun, but the practicality is just... Wait, oh, and I took off the ceiling. That just shows how sticky it was. Next product. This is the Franklin mini basketball hoop with a rebounder for your door. Now this costs a hundred dollars. Donna says, one star, the rebounding mechanics does not catch the ball and return it. The ball goes through the net and does not fall into the blue rebounder. I watched my son make 20 for 20 shots. Okay. And the ball did not rebound one time and it only kept score half the time. This is a complete letdown. Sounds like Donna's son's about to get a scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, is D1 bound. 20 for 20. That's crazy. Mom 2, the bean and bear, one star. Don't waste your money. Weak motor doesn't work. First, this only hangs on the outside of doors. It's a door. <laughs> Second, and perhaps most importantly, the motor is incredibly weak and will not return the ball. Let's test it out. And for fun, we're going to compare it to our Jesser mini hoop, which you can get in Walmart at stores or online, walmart.com. It is half the price of this one. So let's test out this one first. Is the rebounder revolutionary? First, does it even work? We'll never know. Okay. Wait for it. Oh, oh. it's actually pretty good. Hey, try to guard me, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> that is gold. Oh, my bad. Okay, the score definitely is broken on this thing, but the rebounder works fine. I, mean, I haven't made a shot yet, but. $100 is absolutely insane. The rebounder is kind of cool for a second, but it's not very consistent. Let's get a ball comparison. The Jester ball is twice the size. Your balls are definitely bigger. Yeah, I got big balls. Look, it has LEDs. What? And a breakaway rim. I'm having a good time right now. You know the scoreboard's working because it lights up when you score. Overall, I'm giving this one one stars. It's overpriced and who really needs this thing when you're playing on an indoor hoop on a door? And it makes it hard to dunk because you're going to hit this thing, which is like all the fun for a mini hoop. Yeah, definitely one star. Jesser hoop this is going to be my first 10,000 star of the video because it's the greatest mini hoop of all time. I agree. 10,000 stars. Next product. This is a glowing basketball net. Let's read the reviews. Eric Tennyson says one star does not glow. Definitely does not glow in the dark. Well, Let's see if it glows. We're gonna turn off the light in three, two, one. Oh, wait a minute. It's it, actually glowing. Yeah, it does glow in the dark. So you can't trust every one star review you see. I'm giving it a five stars. It did what it was supposed to do. Five stars, 100%. Next product. Next up, we have basketball shoes. These are from Amazon. They're 50 a pair. It is called Soul's Fang. Okay. Okay, I got the flamingo design. I have the graffiti. Seems a little racial, but. I will say it makes me a little uncomfortable that the laces go all the way down to the toe. Let me read the review. Megan, one star. 
are wildly uncomfortable. My mom got these for my son. He wore them once and they hurt his feet so much he won't wear them again. The tongue inside the shoe is massive and doesn't stay in place, so it gets bunched up and causes blisters. It's ridiculously overpriced for novelty sneakers. Lesson learned. So I say we play a little 1v1 in these and see if we get blisters. Yeah, they're not very comfortable off rip. I feel like my foot's kind of sliding in them. Oh yeah, I like these. Soul Fang sponsor me. All right, off rip, my toes are smashing against the front of this shoe. Oh yeah, two nothing. You picked the wrong guy to jump with, buddy. My feet hurt so bad. Oh. GG. I'm just gonna say it. Most uncomfortable pair of basketball shoes I've ever put on in my life. Most uncomfortable pair of shoes I've ever put on in my <laughs> life. Ugh. I'm gonna give this a one star. Ah, definitely one star. Horrible. If they offered you a signature shoe deal for a million dollars, are you taking it? I mean, I'll take the million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> next product. I found this next product. It didn't have any reviews, but I wanted to get your opinion on it. So let's go to it. Okay. So this is the LeBron James bedding. Do you want to feel the comfort? Like lay on it? Ugh. <laughs> Actually, not bad. <laughs> Wish LeBron was like hugging me like he's hugging the basketball. He can. Oh. <laughs> this is every LeBron fan's dream. I love that it also comes with the pillows. Like the pillows go so hard. <laughs> oh, LeBron. Why are you turned towards me, bro? What? <laughs> you're like turned towards me like you want to cuddle. <laughs> Go. I feel like I'd sleep like a goat. I feel like I could sleep right now. I'm giving it a five. Bro, this is definitely a five. It's actually comfy, bro. On to the next one. This is the Basketball Hoop Laundry Hamper. Let me tell you about these reviews, man. Denise, one star, broke within five minutes. What a waste of money. The backboard broke right in half. Disgusted. Do not buy. How are these people breaking these basketball hoops? She must have dunked her underwear, dude, because there's no <laughs> way that breaks in five minutes. Broken in half is insane. Let's see if that really happens. We're just gonna fill it up with laundry. We got the newest bug squad draw. How can I not plug it? It's a laundry shoe. Okay, can old one. Jersey. Oh, jersey in there, another pair of shorts. It's kind of getting full. Yeah, it's only only three things. This is like a really solid piece. Like how did this split in half? All right, let me take a shot actually. I feel like it's about to break already. Really? It's sagging, dude. It's holding, honestly, a ton of laundry. It hasn't broke. The backboard is intact. Or maybe the kid tried to dunk. <laughs> okay, that might have been what happened. That almost held your whole weight, though. Yeah, I'm also way heavier than any child that has this, but it can break. Okay, I'm gonna give this product a three star. It's not super impressive. It's also not horrible. What are you giving it? I'm gonna agree with a three. It's not terrible, but not worth any more than that. These, five star, next product. This is the Little Tykes Basketball and Soccer Court Inflatable. Now, this lady had a problem with this thing. Let me read her review. Cat Lady Problems, one star, boring and the floor is pointless. If you think the floor is attached, it is not. Trying to set this up alone was a nightmare. And I can't understand why they couldn't at least have sewn it all together so it opened up in all one shot. Let's test it. We're on it right now. I would definitely say the floor is not pointless because it's like a nice surface to step on and it has all the lines of the different sports. Like you got the middle of a soccer field or a basketball court. Obviously the floor does have a point. We're gonna see if this thing's fun. So let's play first to three. For the first point, it will be soccer. I love that it's soccer and basketball. Basketball. Oh! Damn! Ah! It's 2 0. We're switching to basketball. Yes! Ah! Ah! That was a lot more than 10 minutes of fun. I have only used this thing as an adult, but I absolutely love it. You can turn it into a slip and slide for more fun. I imagine 10 year old me, I don't know, five other friends in here playing a 3v3, soccer or basketball. This is fire. Five star product. Gotta be five. Thanks Zach for coming on. Go subscribe to this channel, check him out. And if you wanna see our other basketball videos, they're popping up. You are gonna love this one right here. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.